My name is John Keeley. I'm adjunct professor in the Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology at UCLA and a research scientist with the U.S. Geological Survey stationed in Sequoia National Park. My talk today is going to focus on major wildfires and their impact on urban environments and the wildland ecosystems that they typically ignite in. And our concern today and much of what I'm going to talk about in this uh, presentation is going to focus on two issues. One is how do we sustain the wildland ecosystems that are around us and at the same time reduce the vulnerability of communities to fires. One of the big uh, problems is that we live in a landscape where the vegetation is extremely fire prone. In fact, it's probably the uh, worst fire climate of any place in the world. Uh, and when those fires ignite, they burn through wildland landscapes and the vegetation there is very well adapted to fire. Uh, if the fires don't burn too frequently, if we get too frequent of fires in those landscapes, we can actually displace our native vegetation and the landscape is invaded by weeds and other non-native species. So that's a, a concern is the fact that we have a lot of fires these days and almost all of them are started by people. And from the uh, human side of this issue, the real concern uh, by most people who live in Southern California is when those fires threaten developments and urban environments. And so a lot of what I'll talk about today will focus on how we can minimize the, uh, this threat to the urban environment from wildfires. Now historically, uh, state and federal agencies have had the uh, philosophy that we could actually stop these fires if we were to manipulate or to cut down or burn frequently enough the wildland fuels that would keep the fuels low enough and it would stop big fires from occurring. We have probably a hundred years of experience now to show that that simply doesn't seem to be the case. That, and in fact, uh, big fires have actually increased probably within the last uh, decade, much more so than we've seen in the past. And there are a lot of reasons for this. Primarily, it seems to be tied to climate changes, uh, particularly droughts that we've seen in the last 10 years. And so uh, there's a lot of concern that this may continue into the future, and we need to think of a different way of solving the problem. Now, the approach that a lot of us have taken in recent years is to focus attention not on trying to manage the wildlands but try and manage the uh, urban environment and the human infrastructure of roads and developments and what we can do to minimize uh, fires entering into the urban environment. And the sort of things that could be done for example, our uh, approaches to better fire prevention. For example, a lot of our wildfires start when power lines are blown down. Putting power lines underground has the potential to reduce a lot of our really worst wildfires. Uh, roads happen to be the primary uh, point of origin for most of our fires. There's the potential of, of minimizing uh, fires moving out of the road uh, uh, areas into wildlands by perhaps putting barriers up along roadsides is one possibility. The other uh, issue has to do with what we can do in the urban environment. And there's a couple things that are really important for people to understand about fires in the urban environment. One is uh, where we put our homes uh, has a lot to do with the vulnerability of those homes. To now, what are the things that can be done? Uh, in today's lecture, I'll be talking about uh, the uh, uh, potential for altering future uh, urban planning uh, growth patterns uh, are in ways that might minimize uh, fire impacts. For example, in any given development, generally the homes on the north and the eastern side of that development are much more susceptible to fire damage simply because that's the direction Santa Ana winds blow fires into the urban environment. So taking into account uh, direction of winds, direction of fires, we may be able to use that information to design better developments uh, to minimize uh, uh, losses. So that, in a, in a nutshell, is uh, what I'll be talking about in today's lecture. 